All right, so in this video, I am going to be talking about uh, CMAX. Uh, I got mine from Serotropic, which is, I think, as far as I know, the only good place in America that you could uh, get this. I mean, it is online, but like the only uh, like retailer outside of Russia. But anyway, uh, first we gotta start with the basics. What is it? Uh, CMAX is a um, it's a synthetic peptide, seven amino acids long. In this video, I'm just going to talk about CMAX. There's different versions. There's there's like regular CMAX, there's NACMAX, and there's NACMAX amidate. Um, for those of you interested in the chemistry of it, uh, so you have a a chain of amino acids, right? Seven uh, amino acids long. Uh, at the one end, like that, they're labeled the end terminus. Uh, there is a um, acetyl it is acetylated, so that's the N A N acetyl C max, uh, and then um, the N acetyl C max amidate. Uh, at the other end, there is also an amide group, so that's the N acetyl C max amidate. Now. What does this mean? Um, well, typically, CMAX is the weakest. NACMAX is the next, is, is, is a little stronger, and then the strongest is NACMAX amidate. And uh, they basically work the same, the difference being in um, how they are absorbed and, you know, the bioavailability, how well your brain can use it. It's different for different people, but that, that sequence, CMAX, NACMAX, and then NACMAX amidate, that's usually... Uh, I would say probably majority of the time, from what I understand at least, that's uh, that's the way it goes for most people. Um, what what works best in order. So, um, so pharmacology. What is it actually doing at a little bit higher level? Uh, it is uh, it upregulates serotonin and dopamine systems. It uh, and uh, specifically, I know like in the forebrain. Which is, you know, where a lot of the, the higher level cognitive function is happening. This, this is a great uh, nootropic. It 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 uh, it, uh, it expresses uh, it helps with your growth factors. It um, like BDNF or uh, NGF. These are growth factors that help. Uh, they're like a fertilizer for your brain, is how it's been described. Like they they basically. Help your help you grow new brain cells, and um, so yeah, I mean, obviously that's a great thing, right? Now, obviously, this isn't the only thing that does that. I mean, a lot of things like will actually stimulate neurogenesis, the growth of new brain cells. Exercise, for example, will do that. Uh, even like chewing gum, uh, possibly could do that, but. Uh, you know, th this is, is pretty good at helping you, uh, you know, upregulate those growth factors, and um, so that's another thing that it does. And the the ultimate method of action of this is, seems to be melanocortin receptors. Uh, melanocortin receptors. Uh, I actually wasn't familiar with them before I started doing research for this. Uh, but they are, uh, other, uh, apparently the, when, when these are, um, there's research showing that when they're, they're somehow tied to the monoamine systems like serotonin and dopamine. So, uh, when they are activated, when some ligand, uh, you know, binds to these things, it seems that they can help upregulate those other neurotransmitter systems. Uh, I'm not uh, an expert on that. I'm just giving you a quick idea of, um, you know, basically what's going on. Um, but my, and my, okay, so let's get to the, down to what it really does. Like, what's my personal experience with it? Uh, in my experience, it, it's, uh, it's difficult um, to describe in a way because it's like it's subtle, but it's not. It's subtle but noticeable. That's how I would describe it. And but it, 
I, I actually want to say it, it's not so much subtle as it is. It's so incredibly smooth. That's where I think maybe the subtlety is coming in because it it, it really is noticeable. It it, it gives you 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 get a, even like a slight uh, cerebral sensation. It, it's great. It's like um, it's like a psycho stimulant, but it definitely psycho stimulant. It's not in your body. But uh, in your, you can feel you get. A, I get a slight, just a slight, speedy sensation uh, in the head, and it's like a. Oh, I mean, it is hard to describe. It's like clarity, focus. Uh, it's, cr it's like an ideal nootropic, guys. I I really recommend it. It's it's not a recreational drug, so I mean, it's not going to get you high, but. I, um, the effects are there. I mean, you can you clearly notice them. Uh, it's smooth. It's like uh, I've heard it described as kind of like how you feel after uh, exercise, and I, I I could see that. I guess it it is a little different. I, I find it actually goes great with exercise. Uh, like go lift some weights and use some C Max or something. Uh, it makes a great combination. It stacks well with exercise. We'll put it that way. Um, the, the the most salient benefit for me initially was the focus, um, a higher level focus. Meaning, it's really good for the things that you would really expect from a nootropic, like complex problems or learning complex material. Uh, I, I just to compare and contrast with coffee. Coffee is good in that it uh, it can help you do things that, like let's say factory work or like food service work or like anything that just requires a, like just a lot of, um, well, like obviously, you know, if you pay attention it helps, but it can like sometimes be, you know, even too boring to pay attention and... Basically, what I'm trying to say is coffee helps with more simple tasks in terms of focus. But I think for more complex things, C-Max is good. It doesn't get you like so jacked up that you like have a hard time concentrating. It, it, it's just smooth focus, uh, enhanced learning and memory that you can just... It, it just really helps you um, it's, with complex material. Like So like if I was going to... Like, a, to use my example, like, if I was going to, um, you know, if I had, like, an hour to go at a factory job, coffee would be good. But, like, if I was going to study quantum mechanics, I would use CMAX. This, uh, it, it's good for focus on complex material and for learning, um, for, for learning complex material or for applying yourself to complex problems. Um, it does offer a slight mood boost, and I think that as it, uh... As it uh, goes, as as it as it uh, is broken down and slowly, uh, it uh, different and like different parts of it in the cycle have different effects. So I think like the mood boosting, it seems to be, and I don't know, maybe it's just more salient after the focus starts to wear off a little bit. But it seems like later on, the mood at lifting aspect is there. It's not an overwhelming mood lift. It's not. I wouldn't describe it as a euphoria. But uh, it, you know, there is a subtle mood lift, I think, and it. Uh, some people say it's good for anxiety to some extent, and I guess it's kind of borderline. Um, I don't know. It's hard for me to tell subjectively if it's helping with anxiety all the time or not. But it, it does help with. Um, I mean, I can definitely see like mood a little bit more than anxiety. Uh, it's close. Cousin Selink, uh, I guess that's how you pronounce it. It's another peptide. It's good for anxiety, but that's a different video. So, this, uh, focus on complex things and maybe a slight mood lift. It's good. F uh, a lot of people have said in the forums that it helps you get in touch with emotions. I would say that it does help you express emotions a little bit more. Like for me in particular, anger. Uh, it doesn't like just make me angry, I don't think. I think it, it feels as though 
if I get angry, I feel like it helps me to maybe like stick up for myself a little more. Like it helps me like I'm basically one of these people that has a hard time uh, expressing anger uh, in a healthy manner. Like you know, I'll, I'll I'll try to act like I'm not angry or something, and I'll just take stuff, you know, whatever. I'm like so laid back, but like it. it this is, a, this is like an interpretive thing, uh, to an extent. Uh, you know, I feel a little more pissed off. I feel a little angry in certain ways, but I feel as though it's not making me angry. I feel like things that on some level were irritating me, it's helping me connect with that and respond in a more healthy way. So there is a difference. I think that the C-Max is not, it's not like a side effect that it makes me mad. I think it helps me... It's an extend. It's it's like my personal um, experience with this more general effect of of being in touch with emotions. So that's what I think is going on. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for personal experience. I will say, um, this is not just my experience. It's known like this last. The effects of this are pretty long lasting. They last for up to twenty four hours. And that's just acute. If, like, if you use it all the time, having, you know, nerve growth factors and stuff, it probably has, you know, some good long-term effects, too. But the acute effects are, are about, they can last up to 24 hours. Um, it feels a little bit different. Like, I, for me, like, I drink uh, a lot of coffee, and so you kind of get used to the, the rhythm. You know, you kind of get used to... You know, it's been this long, and I have this much to go, and you you get used to the time frame of of coffee and how it lasts. So, this you know, being you know, I, I guess it kind of feels as though you know, being you know, kind of like a psycho stimulant. You kind of want to compare it to coffee. It has this feel like it should be wearing off, but it, it just it goes for a while, which is cool because like the effects are good and they're not intrusive. There's no bad side effects. Uh, but uh, it, it does last for a while. Like, I'll take it... Uh, I actually like to take it early in the day. Like, if I'm going to use it, I'll, I'll use it, like, pretty much first thing in the morning. And then it, I'll be good for a day. It'll help me stay lifted for the entire day. And uh, I, I really don't like to use it too close to night because it can actually interfere with sleep if if you... And that if you do it that close to bedtime, like I, I have been able to go to sleep on it, but um, I think it's a little bit better if you if you take it further, you know, try to space it out a little ways from when you have to go to sleep or you know, try to go to bed. Uh, and there was one more thing I, I want to say about it. It was um, I forgot to put it in my notes, but. Uh, Yes, there was a bigger thing. It makes you not really want... Uh, well, it... One of the effects, and I'm not really into amphetamines, but one of the effects is it's a potentiator for the the uh, locomotor effects of amphetamines. Uh, but... So, I mean, I really haven't tried it with amphetamine. That This is, like, something that we know from research. So, I mean, like, there's really, like... You know, something that we know about it, but uh, subjectively, like in general, it makes you really not want any other kind of stimulant. Like I, like coffee, for example. I mean, I'm a pretty big coffee drinker, pretty big into caffeine, and when I use Cmax, I don't really have any desire to drink coffee. Uh, it kind of is like uh, I don't know. It's weird. It just for some reason I I feel. Like I, I really don't want coffee at all. I have no craving for it. I feel like what I coffee would almost interfere with it. So oh, that's interesting. So it's it's kind of good because I you know it's something that I can use to kind of cycle coffee with, uh, or caffeine in general, I should say. Uh, the biggest thing is that I have to be careful because I drink so much caffeine. I um. I, I run the risk of getting headaches if I don't if if I don't taper down from caffeine enough. So I, I got to be careful with that. You know, going completely without caffeine. But I do. It is work good for days when I don't want want to, you know take 
you know, any form of caffeine. Usually it's coffee. Uh, but, uh, that's one, and because a lot of people, uh, do have this problem. Uh, they, they want to cycle caffeine with something, intolerance is an, definitely an issue with caffeine. There doesn't seem to be a lot of other good things to cycle it with. I know, like, rhodiola is another thing that people have tried, uh, but th this, I think, is one of the better things, because it, it, like, you know, it's... It's a solid nootropic, and it makes you just not want coffee. Uh, I, I have mixed it, too. They're okay. It's not like you'll have bad effects if you mix them. You just don't have that desire to consume coffee. Um, I, also, I use it. How do I use this uh, in general besides that? I've, I've touched on uh, helping with cycling caffeine. I also like, well, as I mentioned uh, earlier also, I did mention another one. Basically, I, I use it for complex problems. Like, if I'm going to study, if I just roll up my sleeves and just get into working on a problem hardcore, again, C-Max is my go-to thing. Um, I had, I've only done this once, but I seem to have some pretty good experience stacking this with ashwagandha. Ashwagandha, I, I actually have to make a better well, I made an ashwagandha video. I need to probably go back and make a better one. Uh, as of right now, the one that I have up is uh, a little outdated, but uh, ashwagandha is pretty good, and C-Max stacks pretty well with it. And uh, anxiety was just like, I mean, I was... Whew, stimulated have very little anxiety it's just it's pretty good like moods good uh, talkative it's 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 a pretty good combination that those are ashwagandha and cmax are both solid nootropics solid supplements and I would recommend uh, trying out uh, stacking those two together and then, uh, you might, like I said, also another way you might want to use it, it's pretty, you know, it, I guess, I mean, it, it works. It's one of these things that probably works with a lot of things. Um, I did, again, I said I did it with exercise. I would recommend doing it. Uh, I don't know if it, it, it helps you in working out. Like, it might actually help with the mind. Because one of the things I've learned from working out is that. You know, your mind, you know, your, that mind muscle, well, the ability to concentrate and focus on your movements is really important. You know, there's a lot that goes into weightlifting and, you know, in terms of the mental and neurological aspects. So, nootropics could have a lot of effect. Now, the most subjective, subjectively, like one thing I definitely get is the, the effects of exercise on your mood and cognition really works synergistically with C-Max. So, if nothing else for that, uh, it's worth mixing the two. Like, lift some weight, do some deadlifts, do some bench press, do some squats, overhead press, something solid like that, and just take some C-Max. You'll have a fucking awesome day. Uh, and then, how... That's pretty much it. Um... Oh, uh, so you should probably know a little bit of, of how to actually use this. Uh, you can take it uh, as a as an injection. I've never tried that. I use this. This is a nasal spray. So you know, to na what a nasal spray is. I just squirt. I squirt uh, a little bit in each nostril and. Uh, Away I go. Um, you do have to. You do have to keep it refrigerated, though. Um, it's not so sensitive to heat that I would worry a lot about it in shipping, unless you're getting it over the summer. They'll usually, uh, you know, you know, it ships. It's going to be temperature controlled when they ship it, but um, you know that. Other than that, like if it, if it arrives at your doorstep warm, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Assuming warm means like room temperature. Um, if it's getting into like ninety to hundred degrees, uh, it's, 
could be a problem. Uh, but it definitely, when you get it, be sure you refrigerate it. And uh, that's really the biggest thing, uh, like in terms of like the lower level pragmatic stuff. So I don't know. Uh, I I personally recommend it as like one of the things that I've tried. Uh, in terms of all supplements, particularly nootropics, though, it is up there. It is like, it is pretty much like the ideal nootropic. It is one of the things that you just think that is a low side effect profile, low potential for abuse, very safe. In fact, uh, it preserves your mental function in the long. It helps. It's just a good general. I guess you could call it tonic for the brain. It's it, it keeps it healthy in the long term, but also has acute boosting effects above and beyond just keeping you healthy. So I really do recommend C Max. Hopefully this video helps, and I'll catch you later. Bye.